Settle down and you found a girl in your merry mouth. I heard that your dreams came true. Guess she gave me things I didn't give to you. I had a habit of hurting people beyond him. Placing band-aids on bleeding bullet wounds and still expecting them to fight for my affection, so don't label me your compass. On most days, I can barely keep myself pointed in the right direction. I don't have a lot of practice with apologies. Most are smart enough to be long gone before I'm ever comfortable enough to admit that I am wrong in those. I'm fortunate enough to stay and have come to accept my walls as part of my charm, but you gave a mile and expected one back. But halfway is a place that I've never been, so how am I supposed to meet you there? S-O-R-R, why can't I pronounce some words as easily as I can spell them? This apology. Seven heartbreaks, three botched engagements, and 138 prank calls overdue. A grocery bag full of good intentions that burst on a long walk to nowhere, and they say, don't cry over spilled milk. So I will cry over the container. I'm sorry I hurt you. Left you to believe that you had a love deficiency when your only discrepancy lie in choosing me. You didn't deserve to be punished for that. Some days I wish I weren't your type. Or that my looks had warranted a second look or that you had took a second to look closer and notice the fine print. Warning. This girl has been broken and put back together month of style. Any display of maturity or affection will cause her to crumble or to run. I chose to run. You chose to fall. I'm sorry that I didn't care more that you scraped your knees when you fell for me. Our birthdays rendered us compatible long before we even met. I guess you could say we were written in the stars and you shone so bright that you didn't care that I was etched in shadow, but baby, I was all shadow. Buying into the cliche that opposites attract, I wanted a good relationship with a bad boy, and you were never good at pretending to be anyone other than who you were, so this apology is three loud arguments in a public setting and one mixed the one, if you died, I wouldn't cry because you never loved me anyway. Mix CD overdue. A stray eyebrow that gets mistaken for a loose eyelash. Placed between fingertips with eyes closed. No wonder your wish never came true. You weren't even sure what part of myself I was giving you. And I'm sorry that you love with a lot more caution now. That you have barriers around your heart, that thick skin does not stretch as easily as its counterparts. You are not as flexible as you used to be. And I know this apology sounds a lot like a love letter. I am not in love with you. I just don't have a lot of practice with apologies. But if I did, I would have apologized when it still would have meant something. <laughs>